So it's looking like there's a team that's very close to signing both Lamelo Ball and Leangelo Ball for the rest of this season. And to be honest, it's not a country that I would have expected them to go to, especially because of the fact that they're trying to promote the big baller brand. And it looks like they will be playing in Lithuania next year. But anyway, before we get on to the main part of the video, we are doing a daily December. We're gonna get a video up every single day. My original goal was to hit 25,000 subscribers by the end of the month. We've hit it, and we're only 10 days into daily December, which is absolutely incredible. Thanks to all the new subscribers for coming in, and we've nearly gotten 3,000 subscribers already this month, which is absolutely crazy. But anyway, I'm going to set a goal, I don't know, 30,000. I've already hit my goal. I'm not that bothered if we get it, but let's see how close to 30,000 we can get by the end of this month. And as promised, there will be two videos out on the 15th of this month because we hit it before that. So anyway, now let's get on to the main part of the video. So according to a few articles and tweets that I've read, Lamelo and Leangelo are both in discussions to sign professional basketball contracts with Lithuanian club, which I'm sorry if you're Lithuanian, I have probably butchered this club's name. It could be Prienu Vitatis. I'm probably completely wrong with that, so I'm sorry. I'll try not to say the name of the team anyway in the rest of this video. So according to the ESPN article, the franchise hopes that the balls, including their father LeVar, could help out with the marketing for the team. The crazy thing is, is that they mention LeVar Ball, so what's going to happen? Will LeVar Ball go to Lithuania with his two kids if they end up playing there? And I think more than likely he, he will. I have a weird feeling he will end up, or he'll be constantly going between Lithuania and LA, which geographically doesn't make too much sense because they're extremely far away from each other. So the team that's trying to sign both of them isn't one of the top teams in Lithuania. It's a low to mid-level Lithuanian league team who are actually 4-0 in the Baltic League right now, which is a competition of slightly lesser standard than the Lithuanian League. So the brothers have been told it's unlikely they see too much time in the Lithuanian League, which is a really high standard of basketball. But they also play in the Baltic League, as I said, which is a lot less competitive. I'm not an expert on Eastern European leagues, to be honest, so I have no idea what I can compare the Baltic League to, but I know that they play in both of them and they're doing extremely well in the Baltic League so far this year. But the Ball Brothers will more than likely play 20 to 25 minutes minimum in the Baltic League. And according to a few tweets, there is a clause in their contract that they have to play that many minutes in the Baltic League. Obviously, nothing's been said about the Lithuanian League because it's too competitive, and realistically, like a 16-year-old Lamelo Ball is not going to be able to hold his own in the Lithuanian League. Straight up, as skilled as he is, he's not going to be able to hold his own. So of all places I expected the Ball Brothers to play this year, this is a situation that I never thought was going to happen or was even going to be close to happening. Because the thing is, is that the team play in a small village. They've been a small village that don't speak English. There's only 10,000 people there. And the stadium they play in is a small stadium that only has one and a half thousand seats, which is not a lot at all. Maybe it's a sign that LeVar Ball is focused more on basketball than uh, the big baller brand. Throwing them into a culture that they're not used to, as well as putting them playing against grown men. And Eastern European players tend to be tough. Almost every Lithuanian player I've played against, and there's a lot of them in the Irish leagues, and that could be a huge benefit to both of their games. One thing with Lamelo Ball is that he tends to be a little bit soft, and I'd say a couple of years in Lithuania and he's not going to be soft anymore. For basketball development-wise, this could be great, but from the big baller brand, I'm kind of confused. For one, it's a non-English speaking nation, which is a little bit of a surprise. Then obviously, it's a team that's only going to get a max of 1,500 people per game. Also, it looks like the Ball Brothers aren't even going to be paid. I think they were told they're not getting paid any more than $500 a month, which is absolutely nothing like. That's crazily low. I mean, that's $6,000 a year, which is really bad. They're pretty much playing for free. And the weird thing is, is that I'm surprised that either the agent didn't contact any teams in England or Ireland, or that no teams in England or Ireland contacted his agent. Because the thing is, is that the two of those countries are both English speaking, basketball isn't the biggest sport in either of those countries, and also geographically that would make more sense. If LeVar wants to go to see Lonzo play in LA, and also wants to spend time with his other two kids in Lithuania, he's gonna have to travel the guts of 10,000 kilometers, which is an extremely long distance. This entire process has just confused me. Obviously, I said it from the start that I didn't think any decent EuroLeague team was gonna give them a contract. But the thing is, is that it's very hard to tell right now whether LeVar Ball cares more about their basketball development or whether he cares more about the big baller brand. 
But the thing is, like, the two brothers aren't going to play that much in the Lithuanian League. And I think they'll play a little bit in the Baltic League. Leandro will play a lot more in Lamelo. Like, it might toughen Lamelo ball up, which could be a good thing. But they're basically playing for free. I may be incorrect saying this, but I don't think the market is as big in a small town in Lithuania as it would have been if they tried to go to somewhere like London, which would have been probably the ideal situation for them. Because basketball's not big there. They would have brought in a lot of hype into the sport. And also, English-speaking nation, relatively wealthy nation. And it would have definitely, definitely helped the brand grow much more than in Lithuania. But yeah, it's just, it's confusing. I think it could be the best thing for their basketball, but at the same time, it could be the worst thing. Like, it's a culture shock. And at 16 and 18 years old, it's hard to tell how they're going to react to this culture shock. At the same time, there are Americans that are tweeting out about how they played in Lithuania and they hated it. And yeah, it's just, it's a really, really confusing situation. And to be honest, I expected that the two of them would have played in somewhere in Asia. I'm actually shocked that they're playing in Europe. From a pure basketball standpoint, I think it could help them a lot. But the culture shock as well as not playing could have a massive, massive negative effect on these brothers. And it's gonna be interesting to see how the year plays out. I, I hope for the best. I think that the two of them could be great basketball players. And it's never good to wish anything bad on a 16, 18 year old like I see a lot of people doing on Twitter. But at the same time, I am fearing the worst. I think that this could honestly be a terrible, terrible decision. The fact that they're playing for free in a small town in an Eastern European country that doesn't speak English is just, it just baffles me. I, there's no other way I can explain it. So anyway, leave in the comments what you guys think and if you're as confused as I am. So anyway, that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe.